Hi folks, my name is Lionel Johnson with Bison Transport and I'm here today with Eric Roeder in driver development okay. at Bison Transport as well. Great. Well, Eric, uh, thanks a lot for doing this video with me. Just to uh, give our uh, audience an update what we're going to be talking about, we shot a video a few months ago called So You Think You Can Drive Distracted. It was uh, an interesting concept, sort of like uh, Canada's Worst Driver exactly. uh, a concept where we had three drivers yeah. and we put them purposely in distracted and dangerous situations to see how even seasoned drivers would be able to, uh, to do. It was quite a popular video. We had lots of views and lots of uh, comments on it. One of the interesting things that came up though, Eric, if you remember in our discussion, was the, the uh, concept of commentary driving. And yes. I had actually never heard of it before. And I have a, a great 12er at home who's just learned to drive and I've got a, a great tenor. So I thought it was a pretty interesting concept. And uh, how about if you could tell our audience a little bit about what commentary driving is and what we're going to be uh, doing today. Absolutely. Commentary driving is something that anybody can do who's learning to drive or anybody who wants to be a safe driver can do at any time to improve the safety of their driving. Okay. So the idea is to force yourself to talk about what's happening around you, what you're anticipating, what your thoughts are as you're driving, uh, and that will force you to see a lot more things than you would normally see if you weren't forced to be talking about it. So it's something that we've seen great success with in uh, speeding up training of our drivers. Uh, and the beauty of it is anybody can do it, including your grade 12er, yeah. to improve uh, their safety, their driving. So it's a helpful technique. All right, well, let's jump in the truck and let's give it a try. All right, Eric, how about we get started? I've uh, got my seatbelt on, I've checked all of my mirrors. Great. And uh, let's let's head out. We'll do a tour around the terminal, you know, for a couple of miles here. And again, you're going to start off with, uh, you know, giving us an example of what commentary driving is all about. And Absolutely. then I'll uh, take a turn. Great. All right. So we're ready to go. Um, basically, you know, there can be an instructor doing commentary driving, which can also be instructing, and at the same time, the driver. Uh, can themselves do commentary driving, which will be primarily more about what they're doing. But the idea is to keep the topic on driving and safety and what's happening around you. So you can talk about what's going on ahead of you, what you're doing, you know, what lane you're in, that sort of thing, what you plan on doing up ahead, okay. uh, what you see, uh, anything to do with what you're doing at the moment. So as an instructor, also, I could say, okay, you're here stopping before turning right onto this street. You check to make sure there was nobody coming. Uh, you know, you look both ways, that sort of thing. We see a big semi coming towards us, passing us right now. So you're making sure you're on the side of the road and not over the center line. Uh, you can see up ahead right now that there's a car turning in front of us. Uh, the car didn't even stop, just pulled out of the yard there. So luckily we weren't that close. Right. Now we can see you're going around the bumps because there's a fairly uh, rough this, road here. I think this is the bumpiest road in Winnipeg. Yeah, right? it probably is. <laughs> there's an exit to a business here just on the left of us. So you could be watching for cars. There's a red light up ahead. So you're already, you know, there's no point in accelerating right. anymore. So you might as well just <laughs> cover the brake and get ready to brake up here. As you can see, now we're sitting in a light and we start running out of things to say. Right. So the idea is, as you're traveling along, you want to do, try really hard not to run out of things to say okay. and just okay. keep the commentary rolling. And uh, you're going to see a lot more things and notice a lot more things when you're searching for them because you're trying to keep talking. Right, I see. Uh, but uh, you, you go ahead and give it a shot. All right, so I'm coming up. I noticed that there's some train tracks here and a lot of gridlock on the right-hand side for whatever reason. And also, we're coming up to St. James, which I know is always a very busy street, so it's often quite slow. So I'm just gonna slow down and let this guy uh, clear the intersection. So right now, well, one, one thing I would notice is that red car zip by me and you know, I would, you know, probably be good to expect them to maybe slam on the brakes if something comes in front of them unexpectedly. I see a guy on a bike on the left-hand side, so I'd just make sure he's not going to try and cut in front of me. Absolutely. And then I've got a big uh, tractor driving behind me, and then that bus is coming up again as well. 
and what's going on ahead. So there's, I've got a red light. So again, I would have no need to be on the accelerator and just basically come to a slow coast and leave plenty of room in front of me in case I need to move either way if, if something were to happen. Right, so we have a green light now. I'll, I'll be turning right here and merging onto uh, Notre Dame. So you see how it begins to be yeah. difficult. You, you, you can easily run out of things yeah. to say. So part of it is forcing yourself to keep talking, okay. keep looking. One of the other things that can be talked about is the signs. For example, there was just a sign saying that to turn right there is in fact a truck route. So that would be something a truck oh, driver yeah, right. would notice. We've just passed a school zone sign. We're now into railroad tracks. Uh, school zone signs means there could be kids crossing the street, there could be kids playing near the street, right. that sort of thing. Just now it looks like there's an accident up ahead, a couple cars are pulled over. So that's on the other side, but there's also a crosswalk. So again, I would think that that's a situation where something unexpected could happen. Absolutely, and that's exactly how you want to just keep talking. Uh, you, you mentioned the crosswalk. Yeah. You know, there's a crosswalk ahead sign right here, and then the crosswalk follows about a block later. And good catch with this accident on the left. You never know what can happen there. Right. People get frustrated. They might not be able to get around. Somebody might do something crazy. You right. never know. Yeah, yeah, and that, that's probably the, the main key, right? Is just to become aware of what's going on. Exactly. And, and you know, as we're doing this, I can think about it typically, you know, our typical ride home from work where you get in your car and all of a sudden you're in your driveway and you haven't really thought too much about right. what's actually going on around you. So yeah, lots of traffic on the right-hand lane. Not much in the, the left, however, there we have a stopped vehicle that's looking to be able to turn south here. So I'm gonna slow down, but I'm gonna leave lots of space between me and the minivan here. And I'm far enough back that I could actually change lanes into the right to go around all of this traffic if I choose. Exactly. So really good thinking leaving that space. So what do you think of the idea so far? Well, it, it's really uh, interesting. I know this is my first time doing it, so that, you know, I sometimes forget to uh, comment on different things that are Yeah, annoying, definitely take like some getting used it. to. But uh, definitely I can see the, the value for a, a newer or even ex an experienced driver, you know, just to be able to do it every once in a while at least, just to remind them how aware they need to be and just how many things are going on around them. Okay, so I'll wait for this car to go and now I can exit the uh, intersection here. And as we talked about, I'll turn into the left and the inside lane here. Well, I think you're okay. doing a really good job. Okay, thank you. Oh. So do I get to keep my license? <laughs> of course. <laughs> What did you think of that uh, whole concept of commentary driving? I really thought it was uh, very interesting to be able to see how many different things were going on as I was looking out of the, the windows, you know, between road conditions, you know, vehicles ahead uh, of us, behind us, you know, how fast people were going, if we were coming up to a school zone, train tracks. There were so many things going on, but uh, when you actually stop to, to notice them, you, you, then, then you really recognize how much is going on around you. So I, I really see it as a very valuable tool, uh, you know, really for a new driver or an experienced driver, anytime, you know, to be able to throw that in the mix of their training. Anybody can do this uh, and it will improve their driving. So we see it as, uh, you know, important part of our training process here. And uh, I hope that, uh, you know, whoever watches this video um, gets the idea to try it out. Yeah. And like yourself, sees how much more you actually see when you're forcing yourself to talk about it. For sure. And for everyone watching uh, at home or on your uh, mobile phone, you know, please uh, comment below. Make sure you subscribe to our uh, Bison channels. And we would love to hear from you if you have tried commentary driving or if you haven't. I would encourage you to be able to give it a try and then please comment below to let us know what you thought of your first experience with commentary driving. Bison is North America's safest fleet and it's uh, small things like this that we do to be able to make sure that our people are as professional as possible and can exactly. keep them safe and 
make the roads around them uh, as safe as possible as well. And I really feel that this is a great opportunity to help accomplish that goal. Great. Thanks very much, Lionel. Okay. All right. Thanks, Gunnar. It was Gunner. fun. Okay. Thank you for watching.